Hello everyone. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about solution of homogeneous state equations, state space analysis, control systems, lecture series on state space analysis, lecture number 29. So our new topics, solution of homogeneous state equations. This is control system subsets. So overview. Solution of state equations. What is homogeneous state equations? What is non-homogeneous state equations? What is zero state response? What is zero input response? Solution of homogeneous state equation using Laplace transform method. Basic idea of resolvent matrix. What is state transition matrix? So our main part, solution of homogeneous state equation using Laplace transform method and what is state transition matrix? Solution of state equations. Consider the state variable model of a system given in equation one and two, the dynamic of linear time invariant system be written in vector matrix differential equation as. This is the equation number one and this is equation number two. So this is our state variable model of a system. The dynamics of linear invariant system be written the vector matrix differential equation form. This is the vector matrix differential equation form and this is state equations. This is output equation. This is state equations because left hand side, this is the left hand side terms, left hand side x dot, this is the left hand side, left hand side only differentiation terms and right hand side free of differentiation terms. This type of equation is called state equation. And this is the output equation, y equals to cx plus du, y equals to cx plus du. So this is another form, x dot t equals to ax t plus b u t and yt equals to cxt plus d of d u of t. This is the another form, vector matrix differential equation. Where, what is a, b, c, d? a is the constant system matrix of order n cross n. This is the n cross n matrix. a equals to system matrix n cross n and B equals to input coupling matrix of order N cross R, and U is a R cross one input matrix. X dot equals to X plus B U is called the state equation. Again, Y T equals to what? Y T equals to C X T plus D U of T, where Y is a M cross one output vector matrix, and C is M cross N system matrix. D is a M cross R transmission matrix and YT equals to CXT plus D U of T is called the output equation. So this is our state equation. X dot equals to X plus B U is called state equation and YT equals to CX plus D U is called the output equation. And this A, B, U, Y and C, M, D, D is the transmission matrix. These are all dimension of the systems. Solution of homogeneous state equations. If A is a constant matrix and input are zero, then equation one takes the form where X dot equals to X. Main equation, what is the equation number one? Equation number one equals to x dot, x dot equals to, this is the x dot left hand side, x dot equals to 
ए एक्स टी ए एक्स ऑफ टी प्लस बी इंटू यू ऑफ टी बी इंटू यू ऑफ टी वट इज द डेफिनेशन ए इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट मैट्रिक्स दिस इज द कॉन्स्टेंट मैट्रिक्स एंड इनपुट आर जीरो दैट मीन्स यू ऑफ टी इक्वास टू जीरो देन द इक्वेशन वन टेक्स द फॉर्म x dot t equals to a x t, where u of t equals to zero. So input here zero. U of t input equals to zero. Such such an equation is called homogeneous equation. So what is homogeneous equation? X dot t equals to a x t plus a x t, and u of t equals to zero. This equation is called homogeneous equation. The natural equation is if input is zero in this condition ut equals to zero the net, the output how output can exist this is the question how output can exist in such systems the driving force is provided by the initial conditions of the system to produce the output so driving force provided by the initial conditions this is the x of zero initial condition driving force provided for example what is the example discharging of the capacitor because when capacitor charging this is the charging condition this is the charging and when discharging this is the discharging condition so this is the homogeneous equation when u of t equals to zero but x of 0 not equals to 0 this is the important x of 0 not equals to 0 so this is the homogeneous state equation if a is a constant matrix and input are non zero then equation 1 takes the form that means input not equals to 0 then x dot t equals to a x t plus b u of t such an equation is called non homogeneous state equation so in this condition u of t not equals to 0 u of t not equals to 0 the natural equation is input is not zero in such systems the driving force is provided by the input side of the system so this is the input u of t and provided by the input side driving force this is the supplier zero input response what is the zero input response where in all initial conditions are condition uh, considered and input function u of t equals to zero so in this case u of t equals to zero but x of zero not equals to zero x of 0 not equals to 0 is called zero input response zero input response means u of t equals to 0 input equals to 0 but state not initial state not equals to 0 this type of system is called zero input system or this type of response response is called zero input response another response zero state response where in only input function is considered that means ut considered an initial condition x of 0 equals to 0 and in this condition u of t u of t not equals to 0 u of t not equals to 0 this response is called zero state response this type of response is called zero state response if input function is not taken into account that means input equals to zero then equation 1 is a homogeneous equation and the solution of homogeneous state equation given the zero input response so x dot t equals to x t plus b ut this is our equation 1 when u of t equals to zero this is the x dot t equals to a x t that means this equation is called homogeneous equation taking laplace transform in equation 3 and we get and we get 
S into XS because this is the first order differential equation. So S into S into XS and initial state X of zero, then A constant value, A constant and X of T Laplace terms from X of S, X of S. Then common X of S, then SI minus A whole into XS equals to x0 initial state what is i i equals to identity matrix why multiply multiplying because a is a matrix and s not matrix that's why s into i also matrix and this matrix minus this matrix into xs equals to x of 0 what, then what is x of s what is x of s just SI minus a whole inverse X0. This is the X of S. So X of S equals to SI minus a whole inverse into X0. And SI minus a whole inverse is called phi of S. This is called phi of S. And phi of S is called resolvent matrix. This is the resolvent matrix. This is the resolvent matrix. So put phi s equals to si minus a whole inverse, then x s equals to what? Then x s equals to, this is the phi of s and phi of s into x of zero, phi of s into x of zero. Where phi of s equals to what? Phi of s equals to si minus a whole inverse. And this phi of s is called resolvent matrix. This is also very important for complete exam. This is the formula phi of s and this is called resolvent matrix and resolvent matrix phi s equals to si minus a whole inverse. Now, now phi s equals to what? Si minus a whole inverse, then one by s common and i minus a by s whole inverse. This is the binomial form and this binomial expansion equals to i plus a by s plus s square by a a square by s, s cube, s square plus a cube by s square plus a to the power four by s to the power four plus a to the power n by s to the power n plus dot dot dot. This is the binomial form. And we're multiplying by one by s, then we get i by s plus a by s square plus a square by s cube, s square by s cube dot dot dot. And phi s equals to, this is the phi s, and this is the equation number four taking inverse Laplace transform of equation four. So taking inverse Laplace transform of equation four, then we get, then we get phi s equivalent to what? Phi s equivalent to phi of t. Phi s equivalent to phi of t. And L inverse i by s plus a by s square plus a square by s of s cube, then one by s or i by s equals to i and a by s square equals to ram function so this is a into t and this is step function and this is the s square by a s cube that's why this is s square t square by factorial 2 and last uh, next term a cube t cube by factorial 3 so this is the formula of e to the power a t. So e to the power a t equals to what? e to the power a t equals to 1 plus a t plus a square t square by factorial 2, a cube t cube by factorial 3, a to the power 4 plus e to the power 4 by factorial 4, a to the power n plus e to the power n by factorial n. So this is the highest state yeah, this is the resolvent matrix after inverse Laplace transform. This is phi t and phi t equals to what? Again, e to the power a t. So phi of t equals to e to the power a t equals to L inverse S i minus a whole inverse is called the state transition matrix. This is the very important term. What is state transition matrix? This is the state transition matrix and state transition matrix equivalent to phi of t and phi of t equals to e to the power a t or l inverse si minus a whole inverse l inverse si minus a whole inverse then phi t equals to where 
we know that x of s equals to what? x of s equals to phi s into x0, phi s into x0, taking inverse Laplace transform and becomes x of t. This is equivalent to x of t. This is equivalent to x of t, l inverse phi of s into x of 0, l inverse phi of s into x of 0. Then this is equivalent to phi of s equivalent to phi of t, x of 0, x of 0. So x of t equals to phi t into x0 or x of t equals to e to the power a t into x of 0. So x of t equals to this and this. Then phi s equals to what? Si minus a whole inverse and phi s is, this is the, phi s equals is called the resolvent matrix and x of t equals to this phi t, x t equals to phi t into x0, again x t equals to e to the power a t into x of 0. This is the formula or this is the proof of the homogeneous state equation. If x of t equals to phi t into x0 or e to the power a t into x0 is the solution of x dot t equals to a x t, then, then this is the very important x dot t equals to what? x dot t equals to ddt of x of t. So it, a, x t equals to again e to the power a t into x0. So differentiate, then e to the power a t into x0, then a into e to the power a t into x0, and this is equivalent to x t. So x dot t equals to a into x t. x dot t equals to a into x of t. So if this equals to phi t into x0 or this e to the power a t into x0 is the solution of x dot t equals to a x t, then hence it is proved that x of t equals to phi t x0 or e to the power a t into x0 is the solution of x dot t into equals to a into x t. So this is the solution of x dot t equals to a into x, x of s, a, a t. The solution of the unforced system, that is when u of t equals to zero, is sim simply then x of t equals to phi t into x zero, then x t equals to what? x1 t, x2 t, x3 t dot dot dot, x n t. So this is the n cross, n cross one matrix. And phi t equals to what? phi 1 1 t, phi 1 2 t, phi 2, 1 3 t dot dot dot, phi 1 n t, phi 2 1 t, phi 2 2 t, phi 2 3 t, phi 2 n t and phi n1 t phi n2 t phi n3 t dot 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 phi n n t. So this is the n cross n matrix and x0 matrix, zero state matrix, x1 dot x1 0 x2 0 dot 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 xn. This is the multiplication row versus column. So this n cross one and this n this n cancel. So, so this side n cross one also. Left hand side n cross one, right hand side also n cross one. This is the dimension properties of the matrix. That is the term phi of i z t is the response of the ith state, state variable due to a unity initial condition on the jth state variable when there are zero initial condition on all the order state. So, Thank you.